One of the things that I like best about using OneDrive is the fact that I can sync it to my computer. So when I open my File Explorer window, you'll see that I have a few things here in my Quick Access Tools, but you'll also notice that I have access to my OneDrive documents right here in File Explorer without having to go sign in to portal.office.com and access my OneDrive information online. One thing I'd like to point out is kind of a new column that you might not be used to seeing, and it's this status column. You'll notice that many of these folders show a cloud, and what that means is I have access to that material, but it's actually stored on the cloud, and it's not stored on this particular computer or device. Some of the folders will have, or documents or whatever it may be, will have a little check mark. And that actually means that that folder and all of the contents inside that folder, or if I'm talking about a specific file, that has been pulled down and is stored locally on my machine. I can still access that. I can edit it. And when it makes a change and I save it to my local device here, it will then go ahead and sync those changes. What I want to show you today is how you can actually sync other content. So I received an email from the curriculum department that said they were sharing a folder with me. So if you receive a shared document, a shared folder that's being shared through OneDrive, you're going to get an email similar to this. I'll go ahead and click open. It's going to open this shared folder. There's nothing in it right now, but what I want to do is actually sync this folder to my computer. So I would click sync. Then I need to open Microsoft OneDrive. If you get this and you want to check this so that you don't always see this little message, that's okay. I leave it unchecked so I can use it for demonstration purposes. It tells me it's getting ready to sync. A pop-up message comes up and says, hey, you're now syncing them. You can click to view your files. So when I click this little message, it pulls up this same File Explorer window that you're used to seeing, but you'll notice that now over here, I still have my OneDrive, but I now have a new addition that says Eagle Mountain Saginaw. When I click on it, I see that there was a folder shared with me from curriculum department. I could double click into it. Remember, there aren't any files in this, so it's not gonna show any content. But if I were to add a document here, into this shared OneDrive folder, it would sync to my computer. Now, if I wanted to sync some other files that had been shared with me, I can just go up into the waffle, go back into OneDrive this way. So this is my OneDrive. I can click shared on the left column here and I'll see everything that's been shared with me. Some of them are folders, some of them are documents. So if I wanted to sync um, let me find a folder I might want to sync. If I wanted to sync this upper elementary folder that Miley shared with me, I can click to open it. So she's got a bunch of information in here. Remember, all I do is click sync. I'm going to say open Microsoft OneDrive. It's doing its thing and it's saying, hey, it's here. What if I miss this little notification that pops up though? I don't want to do it that way. I'm going to close everything just so you see how easy this is. I'm going to get back into my file explorer by clicking the icon on my taskbar. Remember, I first had just this one, which was my own personal stuff, but now I have the one that says Eagle Mountain Saginaw. And you'll notice now that I synced Miley's folder as well, I can access it here. Notice everything is the cloud. That means I haven't pulled anything down, but if I wanted to, I could click this double click book madness bracket. I don't know if you even noticed that, but that changed to a check mark instantly. It means that document is now saved in my computer, so I have quick, easy access to it, um, but it still does sync up to the cloud. So there are a couple of easy ways to get to content that others have shared with you via OneDrive.